Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Witcher Potions. So this is a fantastic plugin which adds a brand new brewing system to Minecraft. And as you can see in front of me, there are some uh, particles being spewed from these plants. What does it mean? Well it means you can harvest the plant and get the herbs within. So as you can see here, this uh, plant contains the herb called Brith, and these plants contain the herb Vitriol. And there are some others such as Aether and Vermilion, and they have really, really cool names. It kind of reminds me of Skyrim, um, which is a great game. You could make potions and spells in there. I, I was quite rubbish at it, and uh, I like to just hit people with swords in that game. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is look at the main commands. So if we do Witcher Potions, I've already done it a couple of times. You can see the five commands and all the ingredient IDs. So if we go into the app in GUI, um, we can see three options uh, that we can change and a create formulae as well as edit formulae button. So the first one is whether you want to allow normal brewing. I would block that because uh, you would want players to use this new cool brewing system instead. Um, whether to block um, the place timers, so when a player uh, plants a plant, you don't want to be able to harvest it instantly, so it won't detect it for a while, which you can set in the config file. And finally, the brewing mode, so arcade is where they can just type forward slash brew, as long as they have permission. And the other mode is real realistic, uh, where they have to use a brewing stand. So we're going to set it to arcade, and we're going to go ahead and create a formula. So it will be an unnamed potion unless you actually go into a, uh, an anvil and name it Invisibility Potion, there we go, like that, and um, then we can go ahead and open up GUI, create the potion. So here it is, um, there is the name and the effects and the ingredients. So. Um, what ingredients should we put in? Well, we have some Aether and we have some Vermilion. Let's do that. So, uh, as you can see, left click to add one, shift left click to add ten, and obviously right click and shift right click to remove one and ten, respectively. So, let's go ahead and add two Aether and two Vermilion. And we can actually uh, click the formulae and it will create it. Then we can go and edit formulae and you can see all of the ones I've created. So as you can see, these ones are unnamed. Uh, this one is named Fire Potion. I believe color codes do work, so if you had essentials and you made a kit and gave um, some potions some lore with color codes and name with color codes, that would also work. So um, we can also take note of the potion ID. Uh, we can use it to acquire the potion. So next we're going to look at some of the other commands. So we can um, give a particular ingredient. So the ingredient name um, is as follows. There is the Aether, which is AE1. So we're gonna go HY2, and the player is LT Jim. So this will give us um, Hydrogenum. Wow, that's a, an interesting name for a herb. And then we can obviously give each other potions and the formulae. So potion is going to be ID5 and LT Gym. Um, not sure that actually worked, but um, yeah, that should work. Oh, it's pot, that's why. Not potion. There we go. And finally, we are going to get the formulae for potion 5. Four. I like that it's shortened, so you don't have to type in ingredient potion formulae. It's shortened to three or four characters, which is much easier. I like that. Um, so five, and we should have it, there it is, so um, I'm going to pop it down there, and as you can see, if we do four slash brew, we have the formula pocket, you can place all of your formula in here, formulae I should say, and we are going to want to uh, choose the invisibility potion, so click that, um, actually right click it I should say, to brew it, and we will left click to brew uh, once we've selected everything. So um, we've got our aether in here and uh, that is all we need. So left click and we will brew it. Uh, there we go. So as you can see, we've made some 
we can also make a potion of swiftness so click that and um, if we click back on the paper we can go to the where's it gone invisibility potion oh I click keep left clicking so um, as you can see I'm not sure we actually have enough so we need more vermilion um, which is quite unfortunate although because I'm in creative mode I can instantly get some more brilliant so uh, right click then left click to brew and if you don't have enough um, you won't be able to get it so that is the plugin it's really cool um, if I right click this it says use brew command to do alchemy and obviously we can do some more harvesting of the herbs which is a very cool feature and uh, yeah, you can create as many potions as you like. You can make them colourful and have cool names if you have an RPG server or something. But yeah, that is the general plugin. Uh, there'll be a link to the Spigot page down below. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.